Hey, what's up everybody? Lad here. How's it going? Welcome back to another Octopath Traveler COTC video. Today we'll be talking about nug grinding using a relatively free to play squad and a quick tutorial on how to macro using blue stacks. Let's go ahead and begin. For this nut grind, we'll be doing the rematch Master of Fame Intermediate. Every time you defeat the boss, he gives you a Supreme Experience nut, which is 250,000 EXP. So our team is Sigrid with the Sacred Sword 4, Scarecrow with the Twilight Bow 4, Fior with the Admantine Sword 4, Trish with the Sacred Sword 4. Ideally for this to work, your Fior should be at least level 75 with either a Sacred Sword 4 or an Admantine Sword 4. Fior is going to be your main DPS. She's going to do the most damage. Secondly, if you don't have Scarecrow, you could make this also work with this setup, but it's going to require higher levels, so keep that in mind. I will be attaching my macro that I use with this team, so take a look at their skill sets here and try to copy whatever I have on there. So you can just go ahead and import the macro that I use and go along with that to make your life easier. So for Secret, attach as much physical damage as you can onto her, and you want to make sure you put the Trifold Slash on the third slot. Along with Scarecrow, you want to attach as much physical attack accessories as you can, and you want the last rating arrow on the first slot and then the shower arrows on the second slot onto Fior. You want to give her as much physical attack as you can, again, you can also use the skilled warrior's emblem if you have that. And then take a look at the skills, crumbly cut should be on the first one, trifold slash should be on the third slot. Make sure you try to copy all that. Moving on to Trish, she's using the sacred sword 4 and and again use as many physical attack accessories as you have on these characters. Uh, you want to make sure her mints is on the third slot. Now let's go ahead and talk about the characters behind them. Windgate is behind Sigrid. Windgate as stated before, he's there for a 20% damage increase once the enemy's shield are broken. Camila is behind Scarecrow. She gives him a 10% increase to bow users. Bard is behind Fior. He gives her a 15% increase in attack. Nana is behind Trish. She gives her a 10% increase in attack. And again, these are the skills that I have on. You want to try copying them to a T. The second row you don't have to worry about. Just focus on having the exact skills that you see here. Okay, so onto the macro. You want to go down to Memoirs. Go to Tales of Orista. So on the Alt tab, you want to leave that there. Go ahead and scroll all the way down until you see Master of Fame Intermediate. The way my macro works is the battle event border reaches all the way down to the bottom border, just like so. And then from there, you want to go ahead and toggle up your macro. You can either do this by doing Control Shift 7 or looking at the right column next to the close button or the X button. You want to click on the options and then you want to do import macro. And that is of course if you downloaded my macro that I have attached onto the description. So once you have my file downloaded, you're going to go to the area where you downloaded my file. That should be the hello fellow nutter. And then you can see my file. It's called nutlad.json file. Go ahead and click on that, and then it's going to tell you to import. Now, because I'm the creator, I don't have to do that. Go ahead and click on import, and then you should see my file, nutlad. What you want to do now is you want to go ahead and go to the settings, and you want to make sure that you can see that's indefinitely until stopped. That's going to have you run the macro until you stop the program or the game crashes, which it doesn't happen too often. So go ahead and play it. Now, if you set everything up correctly, the bottom borders are connected to one another, it's going to automatically start playing by itself. And then you'll know that it's running because it'll tell you on the upper right corner, and it's going to tell you the amount of times that it's going to be running. I've also attached a timer up there as well too. Alright, so while that's playing in the background, maybe we can pass the time by me telling you a weird story that I had. So once upon a time, I came back home from work, and I decided, you know what, I want some food. And so I stopped by McDonald's, which is not very healthy, and I decided I was going to reward myself with a ice cream cone. Because for the most part, McDonald's ice cream machines are never working, but fortunately, the McDonald's that I went to, their machine was working. And so I get my order, now I get to the takeout window, and the cashier asks me if I ordered two cones. I told the cashier I only had one, so the cashier ended up giving me two, and it's hard enough holding one cone, let alone two. So now I'm driving home with one hand holding two cones and the other hand on the steering wheel. I make it out of the McDonald's parking lot and I'm on a residential street now. And so I see a high schooler walking on the sidewalk and they were about to cross the street. And so I make a right to intercept them. And I asked the kid, hey, do you want a free cone? He gave me a really weird look, but ultimately he took the cone. So my question to you now is, do you think that was weird? <laughs> I didn't think how weird that interaction was until I got home and I kind of played it in my mind. 
but I guess there are still some good people around, huh? <laughs> Alright, so now the macro is over. My macro takes about 2 minutes and 39 seconds. Obviously, you can definitely do better. But let's say you want to record your own macro. Open up your BlueStacks macro manager. You'll see a blue column that says record new macro. Go ahead and click on that. But you want to make sure your memoirs are set up. And then now you want to go ahead and click on read. Make sure you double tap that or even triple tap that and then go down to yes again triple click that and then on the third click go ahead and hold on to that with this next scene there you can skip the interaction with august now from here you want to make sure you delay your movements you can see i'm moving at the pace of a snail just so that every click registers and you want to take your time with this you don't want to rush it because if something goes wrong you're gonna have to restart your macro now after you defeat the first swarm Go ahead and click multiple times and hold on to the last click. You're going to skip this next interaction and just keep on holding on to it. Here again, we delay our actions. Click on screen multiple times and hold on to the last click. You're going to skip the last interaction. Once you get the rewards earned, go down to the OK and click on the OK multiple times until it's gone. Keep on clicking it and then just like that, you're all done. Move your cursor to the top right screen, click on the square or the stop button, and the macro that you recorded should show up. You can rename it or do whatever you like. You want to go ahead with the repeat, set it to indefinitely until stopped. Go ahead and click on the play button and you can see that your macro is being played. Oh, and by the way, the file that you downloaded, make sure you read the text document. It's pretty important. Alright, so that's the end of the video. Let me know if that helps you. Feel free to like or subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. And like always, take care of yourselves. Let out.